Hello and welcome to Coders Column. My name is Sunny Solanki, and in today's video, I will explain how to create a timeline using Python data visualization library Matplotlib. We'll be creating timeline chart in Jupyter Notebook. So without further ado, let's get started. As you can see on my screen, I already have a Jupyter Notebook open, and at the beginning of the notebook, I have included a sample image showing how timeline looks. So it is generally either a horizontal line or vertical line representing time. So over here uh, in our first chart, there is a horizontal line representing time. And then there are few vertical lines representing events which have happened over time. So this is one example of timeline. Let me scroll. Here I have included one more image showing another example of timeline which is commonly used. So over here, as you can see, there is a vertical line which represents time and horizontal lines represent uh, events. So all right, let's get started with our coding part. So first of all, I have imported matplotlib and printed the current version which is installed on my system. So this is the latest and stable version. Now the next line creates our data set. So what I have done over here is that I have created a simple data set where I have recorded launch price of a uh, launch not launch price launch dates of various iphones from 2007 to 2022 so first column is date second column is uh, product name which is iphone and third column is level so over here i have just uh, randomly selected values in the range minus 2 to minus 6 or 2 to 6 so one value will be negative and one value will be positive because i want one line to appear above our horizontal line and one below alternate so that's why i have randomly selected this label so this is this labels will be the length of our vertical lines so let's go ahead and plot our first timeline so first of all i will import matplotlib.pyplot as plt we'll be creating a chart using pyplot api so first of all, I will create a figure and axis object by calling plt dot subplots. Figure size I will set to eighteen by nine. We have our figure object and axis object created. Now first of all, what I will do is that I will create a horizontal line representing timeline. So this horizontal line first I will create and then we'll add code to add this uh, vertical lines. So let me do that. Now in order to add a horizontal line, I can use x, ax dot plot method. For x axis, I will provide it date values. And for y axis, I want to keep all of them in single line. So I will say like zero star length of our iphone da and then there is a marker which i will use dash o so at every date there is a circle and color i will set to black so let me execute this code and show you how it looks so there is a df is not it's iphone df sorry it's a minor mistake on my side so as you can see now we have our line ready with circles what i will do is that circles are filled so i can set marker face color to make them real circle with where the it's not unfilled circle basically let me do that so now we have our line ready so let's move ahead and what i will do over here is that let me modify the ticks first of uh, x axis so i want ticks to start from 2007 to 2023 so i can say x ticks and i will use a date range function available from uh, pandas the start date will be 20 2007 1 1 end date will be 20 23 1 1 and frequency will be yearly and it will take start date as the date and 
let's say labels are from 2007 to 2024 so it will take from 2007 to 2023 and let's set while limit from minus 7 to 7 the reason we are in setting it from minus 7 to 7 is that uh, we are plotting uh, vertical lines in the range minus 6 to 6 so over here we randomly selected values in the range minus 6 to minus 2 and 2 to 6 so to add one or set upper limit to it i have set y limit to minus 7 to 7 so let me execute this cell so there is a method named set x ticks instead of uh, x ticks when you are using axis object when you are using plt direct then you can call x ticks method as i am using axis object i need to call set underscore methods so remember that all right so now let's move ahead and first of all let me remove the spines so the lines around the chart so how can i do that so i can call spines and then inside array i can provide values bottom top and not bottom left top and right and then i can call set visible function and set it to false right and also want to hide y axis this dot set visible false so let's execute this one yeah now as you can see we have only x axis displayed over here which starts from 2007 to 2023 and then there is a timeline the main line of timeline over here so let's go ahead and add the vertical line above each above and below of each of this circle which represents events so how can i do that i will simply write uh, for loop iphone df so there's our for loop and i will call a method name annotate over here now annotate method uh, so first of all let me retrieve the date product name and label as we will be using these three values so icon of date of index and second is product and third is label now over here first argument to annotate method is a string which in our case is a product then there is a xy value so where the arrow will start so let's set it to date and 0 0.1 and let's provide xy text this is the location where text will appear so I will set it to date and then label and I need to set arrow props method to specify arrow properties and let's plot uh, red color arrows so color is equal to red and yeah let me execute this cell first and see how our arrows look then we will modify the look of our arrows So I need to do range over here and I need to specify index over here sorry uh, small mistakes from my side. So as you can see now we have our lines ready and as you can see the uh, arrows are going little in our circle. So what I will do is that the specifically the arrows which are below the line are going inside so i will put if condition over here that if label is greater than 0 then 0 0.1 else minus 0 0.1 and let me modify the width to 0 0.8 let's see how that looks 
yeah so now this one looks quite better as you can see we are almost done with our uh, line chat now uh, if you don't like this arrow then you can set arrow style and let me set it to simple dash and show you how it looks okay so now we have a fancy arrow and it has a parameter named line width so remember this okay now the lines are a little bit so what i will do over here is that i need to set a horizontal alignment to center in order to properly align lines so all right as you can see now we have our uh, line chart ready let's add a title iphone release dates yeah and let's set padding to 10 let's set location on the left and let's modify font size to let's say 25 and font weight to bold so yeah now we have our timeline ready as you can see on x-axis we have various years displayed and on y-axis uh, we have hidden y-axis so now there is a few more modification you can do if you want this 2007 2008 ticks to be displayed over here in our timeline then we can move this x-axis above so let's do that so what i will do over here is that i will call x dot spines of bottom dot set position to axis and then 0 0.5 so uh, this uh, height of the chart is generally considered 1 and by 0.5 i'll be setting our x axis over here so let me execute this cell so i need to specify it like this Oh my bad there is a minor mistake in access so yeah here we are as you can see the now the line is uh, over our main timeline but i am able to see uh, this uh, line of our axis so i can hide that by again calling x dot spines let me just add it over here and see whether it works or not yeah now as you can see now the line is hidden and we only have ticks and yeah as you can see we have iphone names if you're interested in adding let's say the date as well so we can do that as well i will say date string is equal to let's convert date to a format so i will say percent b percent y so it will say like month and year and over here i will modify our string to date string plus new line character and then the phone name so let's execute this one and as you can see now we have a month and year when the particular phone was released in our timeline chat so as you can see this one looks quite good if you want to further improve the look of the chart then what you can do is that you can introduce a theme so let's introduce a theme to our chart so it's very simple to introduce theme we can call uh, plt.style.context method using which statement and over here we can provide the theme name which i will say 538 in our case so let's go ahead and move this code so i have copied whole of whole code from the previous cell and moved it into this context manager 
and yeah let's execute this cell and see how now the modified chart looks yeah so now this one looks quite better one more thing i will do is over here is that i will hide grid so now it looks quite better yeah so this was the one example of uh, timeline now there is a one more way so let's create uh, this one was the horizontal timeline let's create a vertical timeline so i will copy our previous code over here and we can make changes to this code only and we will have our vertical timeline chart so let's do that so i have modified the figure size now i need to change x and y axis values right instead of x ticks it now it will be y ticks then x limit will be from minus 7 to 7 and over here date will go over here and same needs to be done for xy text as well date will go over here in case of spine we need to hide See all of them and instead of bottom now we need to set spine to left need to hide x-axis and let me execute this one all right so as you can see we have our vertical timeline chart but lines are not properly aligned so instead of horizontal alignment we need to set vertical alignment so i think now we have our vertical horizontal chart ready as you can see this one looks quite better so you have two different choices either you create a horizontal timeline or you create a vertical timeline so yeah that's it for uh, today's tutorial so we created a timeline chart using plt.plot and plt.annotate methods and yeah if you liked our videos then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel yeah see you next time